Hey there. Today, I want to show you an integration between Gmail and ClickUp. So whenever you receive a new email and a new thread is created in Gmail, a new task is created in ClickUp automatically. So now I'm going to send from my personal email to this shared inbox email uh, request. This should land here shortly. Let's refresh. There you go. New email has arrived and that should create a new task here in less than a minute. Let's refresh. There you go. Hey there, I'm Andres, I work at Connex and we can help you set this automation up. Look the link in the description below to book a free discovery call with us and discuss your automations or integrations project. Before I show you the integration, let me talk about the ClickUp Gmail Chrome extension. There are a couple of reasons of why you don't want to use the official ClickUp Gmail extension. Number one, sometimes it may be unreliable, especially when Chrome updates the browser. Second, if you are using Gmail as a shared inbox and you have a team using ClickUp, chances are not all your employees are using Chrome web browser. And third, using the current ClickUp Gmail extension, you have to manually select each Gmail and add it to ClickUp with a couple of clicks. So you need to rely on a human to do that instead of letting this to happen automatically. You may have more reasons or you may still prefer to use the ClickUp extension. Um, in any case, I'm going to show you today how to integrate Gmail and ClickUp using Zapier. To start, just head over to zapier.com and start building by creating a new Zap by clicking this orange button, create and Zaps. If you're not familiar with Zapier, feel free to comment below and I'm going to share with you a resource to start getting started with Zapier today. We are going to build two Zaps, one for whenever there is a new thread in Gmail to create a, ta a new task in ClickUp. And the second is whenever there is a new email within that thread to copy that comment into the task comment section. So whoever is working on ClickUp don't need to go into Gmail to understand what's the status of that task or if there was any update. So let's start with the first zap. This one is pretty, pretty simple. It starts with the new thread trigger Gmail. And the way to configure this is just to select the Gmail connector on Zapier and then the trigger event to be a new thread. Connect your Gmail account and then configure the mailbox to monitor the mailbox. Click continue and then test step. Zapier will pull an existing record, uh, so an existing thread from Gmail at this step. You can see all the fields coming with this trigger, including a raw snippet, labels, and the body of the email, as well as many other fields that we don't need as it for today. Click continue, and then the next step is just to create a new task in ClickUp. So select the ClickUp app. The event is to create a task and then connect your ClickUp account. In the configuration, you will need to select the workspace, the space, the folder, and the list for this task. Then for the task name, what I'm doing here, I, I'm mapping the email subject as the name for this task. To do so, you click on this plus button on your right and bring in the subject from the email by searching for it. There you go and click in here. Afterwards, I'm doing the same with the description. This time I'm bringing the message body in plain text. You can also include the task status at this step, priority and other fields as well. What I did in ClickUp is one very important thing worth mentioning is that I created a couple of custom fields in ClickUp to help with this integration. The first is I included the client email as a custom field and then a Gmail thread ID that will become handy in the next zap. So let me show you how that looks like in ClickUp. You can create new custom fields by clicking on any of your tasks and scrolling down to a section where it says custom fields. As you can see, I have two fields here. One is the client email and one is the Gmail thread ID. Back to Zapier, I'm going to map the client email in this custom field and then I'm going to map the thread ID in the other field. Hit continue and here we can either uh, test this step to make sure this is creating a task in ClickUp. Don't forget to hit publish to make sure this automation starts working from this time moving forward. And as a good practice, always rename your zaps so you uh, know what they do later on. Then this is how the second automation looks like. This is for whenever there is a new email in Gmail to create a new comment in the task comment section. So I'm referring to the section here on the right as an activity. You can copy your emails manually and paste them here manually. If you prefer to do it the old way, well, open your email and copy any new email and paste them here in this comment section. I'm going to show you today how to automate that. This second zap is 
triggering off of new email in Gmail. So you select the Gmail connector as well again, and you trigger uh, after new email. After you connect your Gmail account, you can leave this open, this configuration. Uh, you don't need to select anything. So this will um, copy not only incoming emails, but also outgoing emails sent by you to the client. After you hit test record, you can choose any of the records available to work with this. And now what we are doing with this step is to find the task related to this email. So the, you select the ClickUp app and the action event suitable for this task is find the most recent task by custom field. Hit continue and then select the workspace, the space, the folder and the list of tasks. After that, do you remember we had a custom field about the Gmail thread ID. Well, this is the time to use that custom field. To use it, just select the thread ID. So every email in Gmail has a thread ID to understand what thread is relating this to. And the condition you need to set is up equal to. Hit continue and then test your step. Finally, we the last step is to post a task comment. Again, selecting the click app, the action event is post a task comment. After you connect your account, you select the workspace, base, folder, list, task again. The task, instead of being it static and selecting it here from the drop down, what you want to do is click on these three dots, hit custom and use the task ID that was returned by the second step. So hit the plus button, second step and the ID found. As a comment, I like to uh, do a mix of static text and dynamic text. So fields coming from above. And what I did here is to use the email from and what I did here is to include the from email and to email to understand if this is an outgoing message or an incoming message, as well as bringing in the body of the message. Hit continue and publish this zap. Now, the problem with this zap is that whenever you start commenting and sending emails back and forth in Gmail, the thread may become very, very large. And this exact step will copy all the thread with all the quotes into ClickUp. And that may start to look very, very messy. So I'm going to show you now an upgraded version of this zap that makes use of AI to shorten that and bring only the new part, the new message from every email into ClickUp. So this zap has a couple of more steps. The first one is a filter by Zapier. And what I do with this filter is I'm avoiding to copy the content of the very first message into the comment section because I already have that in the task body. Then Zapier has this very cool app that is called AI by Zapier that allows us to do AI stuff very, very easily without uh, an open AI or cloud account. So we don't need extra apps to make this happen. So to do that, you add a new step and then the app is AI by Zapier. The action is analyze and return data. And when you click here, this will initiate prompt assist. This is how the prompt assistant looks like. On one side, you have the prompt builder. This is if, in case you have an idea, but don't know how to put that into prompt words, you can insert here the desired action. And after you click generate prompt, Zapier will provide you with a professional AI prompt. So in this case, this is what I came up with. And if you want to copy this, go into check the link in the description to the blog post for this YouTube video. So you can grab it from there and copy into your zaps. But basically what I'm telling AI here is to take the body of the email and extract only the last message in the thread and remove any earlier messages or aquatic text from previous emails. Also remove signatures, names and contact information that many emails come together with. Here you need to map the body coming from the email by clicking here again and looking for that field coming from the trigger. Once ready, click continue and test this step. As you can see here, here's how a typical email looks like when you start replying on a new thread. You have several messages contained in it and the result is just, you know, this very simple message from the very last email. Hit continue. And then the last step again are to find the task and to post a task comment. This time you want to use the extract message instead of the full message coming from the trigger. That's it. Again, hit publish and rename your zap so you remember what this does later on. Need help implementing this or any other workflows for your company? Head to connects.digital and book a free discovery call with us. Cheers.